Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Geek and you are welcome to this fantastic tutorial inside of Canva. Today, we are going to be designing a saxophonic kick. That's not the name, that's not a word, okay, but um, it's just like a musical poster, okay, or a musical event. It can be used for a musical event poster and that's what we are going to be creating in Canva. And in this, trust me, you, we are going to be learning a lot of interesting skills because we'll be doing a little bit of photo editing and all of that inside of canva so if this is what you also want to create inside of canva then hold on and i will be right back after my quick intro all right so here we are in canva and the first thing we are going to do is to you know come to create a design and i will come to custom size and click on the 1080 by 1350 with this you can choose any dimension at all you want to use okay so that's um that's really it for now and um i also have my element imported i have two you know musicians or i don't know how they are called Sags Sags look i have the, <laughs> the two of them in here and um, i have also uh, some smoke okay but the thing is um with these elements you can find them in the link in the description okay there's um a link i provided in the description that will take you to a google drive folder and in there you'd find all of these elements all right so now that we have everything we need select this lady and bring her here and i really want to make this on a very quick tutorial you know something you can enjoy but you know quick okay so we have this lady over here okay so you position her here you can position her anywhere at all you want just don't do something like this or something like this or something like this or even something like this okay it should be um you know it should be something nice you get it okay so we have her here and we click on her we come to effect and in effect there are so many um interesting effects we have we have the photogenic which helps you to um edit photos okay so there was one i saw which was very interesting to me which was i think the capri okay so with the capri you see it makes all of the elements uh, it makes your th things pop you get it so we come in to adjust and in adjust there are some several options we have over here so with the contrast we'd want to push the contrast up a little bit okay so that we can get something like this and you can see because she's in white it's very difficult to be able to differentiate so we'll select our background and we'll come into color and with this we'll first of all choose the um gray one but we are going to make it lighter you know it will be white but an off-white in a way okay so this is very sweet sweet <laughs> now select the next um gentleman over here you can use the gent the gentleman first and the lady you know it's just the same thing okay the same yeah so we have him here and we'll just flip him okay then we'll make him bigger now <clears throat> this is what we are going to do come into your photos okay and you search for um maybe heavens okay so we have this um over here so this is the photo i'm going to use okay then i come into my element and in elements i can just choose my frame okay so i can choose a frame make it bigger and position it here and i can send it backward okay there's one option there's an option you can do then you can put the photo okay the heavenly photo in there okay and you can just make it bigger all right nice one so now that we have it there we can also come here and send this one backward okay and we make it even more bigger okay so it should be something like this okay you get it now now that we have it this way the next thing we have to do is to go into our upload and we fetch our um smoke okay so with the smoke we wanted to um, have the same color as what we have in the background so that we, no one can really um, tell okay so to do this we come to effect and in effect we go to draw tone okay so you double click on any of the options you have over here mine is just loading so that's 
okay so you double click i choose highlight i choose my color i come to shadow i choose my color you get it so it should be behind this lady okay nice one so i can position this one here and i can duplicate okay i think it didn't save okay it's saved now and then i can duplicate oh my goodness it's still not saved duplicate okay and i'll send it behind my lady over here okay so i'm just going to do it in such a way that um we wouldn't see the sharp edges okay that's what we are going to do right now so i position it here duplicate it turn it this way okay duplicate uh -huh. so you can see what we have at the moment so you bring your lady no, it should be here um i want the lady yeah come okay yeah so i bring her to front so that i can move her nice one then it means we have to blur these ones out okay let me just duplicate you can see the rounded corner of the circle is over here so i just move it to the top so it covers so you can see how it's looking right now very interesting okay so we position our lady right and we select this gentleman over here so with this gentleman what we can do is we can use um dual tone okay to change his color okay so depending on the color you want to use so let's say i want to let me add a shape first and i'll take the text off for now so if let's say i use um you know a blue color for this you know generated from the clouds or maybe i want to use an orange color let me just pick a quick orange color so that you can understand what i'm about to do so let's say i have this orange color and i want the same color for this gentleman I come to effect in dual tone i can choose any of the options you know, i have over here okay so with the shadows i'll choose the orange okay but you can see shadow makes the whole thing orange so we only change the highlight for that you can see we saw earlier that with the shadows it changes the in almost everything becomes uh you know picks this color so we just use the um highlight okay then we apply so now that we apply this is what we have at the moment so i can duplicate this bring it here okay just look at what i'm doing then i send it backward 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 okay i bring it here more backward 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 okay then i select my transparency and i reduce my transparency so you can see what i'm doing here and i can duplicate it more so that we don't see the sharp edges of our shape so i position this one here and it will go back okay so this is what we have at the at the moment okay so i can maybe reduce the lady a little bit okay and move her up then i can add some shapes okay so it should be here like this and we can move him up a little bit maybe bring him front okay so something like that okay so with this with the um, smoke you can put some behind some in front okay just to make the entire thing very interesting okay that's that's the um the main thing you should aim for all right all right okay so we now we just have to add our text to add our text we can just come here and um select add e heading so um with this i can just type saxophone or saxophone okay okay and with something like saxophones you can see it has this type of formal um feeling because almost anyone who plays you know with those who play saxophone if they're going to play with you know at any event they are most of the time they are in formal clothes so with the font okay because we want to portray a formal feeling in our design we are going to use a serif font keep that in mind when, when you're designing anything that has to do with the formal setting use serif font so i can use one that is called the play fair it's called the play fair something of that sort i have just forgotten uh the name but it should load 
yeah playfair display okay just to add more of the formal feeling to it okay but we can see that i want to make it bolder and you can see that because the text is long if i increase the size i'm not going to really achieve it and even if i make it bold i i still don't get what i want okay so i'm just going to shorten the text over here and i just leave it as sagzo okay which is still like you still get the idea so once you get the idea that's the main thing so i will just place it here and i'll make the color orange orange and i will send it backward just behind the lady you get it then give it like this make it bigger but it shouldn't be too big okay just make sure it's um it's modules even if i move it to the top then it means that there are certain things i'll need to do so maybe i can leave it somewhere here okay but come to effect okay have your text selected and hit on the shadow so in shadow you can um choose the same color we are using for the background and the and the, and the smoke okay we can use the same color and come back to the offset reduce it a little bit the direction change the direction okay to somewhere like here which is 108 okay then increase the blurriness just a little bit so we have something like the saxo so um saxo let me see i'm adding another text that's what i want to do so saxo with the shadow is too much shadow is too much i reduce the transparency of the shadow okay it shouldn't be too much because too much of everything is bad so it shouldn't be too much just something slight okay so i select my text make it bigger a little bit and i can see saxo tunes turn up okay Now we use here a little bit. So we have this Saxo tunes turn up. And now that I have it this way, I'll just keep it closer. Okay, then what I'm going to do is to add um, a musical logo so I can come to element and just search for music. Okay. So in music, what we are going to do is we'll just choose okay, this I'll just use this as a logo just for for the sake of this tutorial. So I put it here and I can just change the colors. This can take orange and this can take this color. Okay, nice one. Then, okay, so it can be there. And um, if it's going to be live, we'll just add all of those uh, things. Okay, we can add the dummy text. So to add the dummy text, I'll just come to text. Okay, and click on subheading and i'll just put it here and maybe make it smaller okay and this is hierarchy we are just practicing hierarchy the main title which is the saxo is bigger than the um, tunes turn up okay is the subtext then the third one which is the detail text okay so we are just trying to organize them according to sizes now that i have this i'll just put it here and say um lorem in some showing up to perform with saxo with saxophones okay that's what i want to say saxophones okay so i'll just put this sample text over here all right yeah and um, i'll just position my text okay, just to make sure my text isn't overlapping and stuff like that my change the alignment okay to something like this and make sure the spacing in between your text are equal okay yeah and i can even push this more so you can see this is what we have at the moment so maybe i'll just um select this how come i can't select everything Okay, so I bring it down a little bit. So like this one also bring it down a little bit. So like this one also bring it down a little bit. Okay, I think my <laughs> with how I'm moving too fast is preventing Canva from saving uh whatever I'm doing, that's why. But you know, we, we don't really care about that at the moment. Yeah. 
so nice one now the next thing i want us to do is i mentioned earlier that let's say it's going to be live on youtube and all of these things what what can we do and it's very simple we just have to say it's going to be live okay so we come into element and we search for youtube okay nice one and normally i like the logo with the text okay and i can and i can just leave it this way but reduce it okay and position it down here and just duplicate this text position it down here i can say live on youtube right and i just zoom in and squeeze it position it here and let's put some date and you know time and things like that so that people will see that okay people can actually know when it's going to be happening all right so i'll press r for rectangle so r for rectangle and i'll just squeeze it down here and i'll just also position it here squeeze this one also you can see what i'm trying to do that's going to contain the date and the time all right now duplicate it okay so the same shape i just position it there again right on top and i divide it into half so this one can be a darker okay you can just pick any color so it can even be a black okay to something like this so the top one would be the date okay so you can see it is 16 june 2021 i just squeeze it and i want to use the play fair okay nice one so center make sure the alignment is center okay and position it there nicely nicely okay and select it again and oh not the alignment but you can make it bold okay so that you can all see what it is and duplicate and bring this one also here and this would be orange okay you can do it this way select all and maybe the time can be maybe 17 17 hours okay let me just say 1 or 11 30 a.m gmt that the gmt okay so this is the time and even though i said we wanted to use the play but you can see how it's not showing nicely so we can just change the font to montserrat okay because with that it's very easy to to read because this is very difficult to read so i can use the extra board or the classic but we'll go for the classic okay nice one and reduce it a little bit and we'll do the same for this one also classic and you do so what's the font size of this 25.8 then this one should also be 25.8 which means we are being consistent okay with the font sizes okay so this is what we have at the moment and um yeah so let's see with the shadows i still i'm not satisfied with the shadows especially with the color so let's see we use a black okay so a black would be the best so let's zoom in and we just pump up the transparency a little bit okay and the blurriness is already okay so this is what we have created inside of canva and trust me you this it's something that can make whoever you're designing this for go like wow i never thought this was possible maybe let me increase this a let me decrease not increase but a little bit okay so that it's not just touching the edges and yes we've been able to design something very interesting inside of canva so i hope you enjoyed designing with me today and um, if you want more tutorials like this come on you can just check my um, youtube channel and if this is the first tutorial watching for me thank you so much for watching till the end and i have more and more also coming up so the name is benjamin again and i will personally see you in my next video